All right, let's go ahead and uh, fail over our availability group from our primary site, which is Charlotte, to our secondary site, New York. That will make New York our primary site and uh, Charlotte the secondary site. And we will complete the same process that we did on New York side and uh, update these two nodes as well. So I'm going to go back to my server. Here's my uh, AG. So I'm going to go ahead and fail over to New York next and up here as you can see that uh, the secondary replica which is going to be primary now New York cluster backslash New York SQL prod we're gonna click next accept the data loss click next and connect with our New York instance click next finish click on more detail to take a look how our pro uh, progress of failover availability group is going alright everything is failed over successfully let's go ahead close this and take a look this has become secondary and this has become primary let's take a look on the database database is available since this is uh, SQL server is installed in clustering mode my secondary site the data movement has been suspended if I just go ahead and refresh that as you can see that this is suspended I need to resume that resume data movement click OK all right uh, availability group looks fine uh, this Charlotte becomes our secondary site so let's go ahead and update our nodes in Charlotte so I'm gonna go back to my failover cluster so anything that is on node 2 I'm going to failover to node 1 and update TBS node 2 so let's go ahead and fail this over to node 1 which is node 1 is active in Charlotte and node 2 is passive in Charlotte this SQL Server instance has nothing to do with the availability group so I just wanted to make uh, take everything from node 2 to node 1 so our node 2 is available for us to do the patching and then we will go ahead and uh, move everything from uh, node 1 to node 2 and update node 1 and that will impact our availability group so everything is uh, on node 1 so node 2 is ready for patching so let's go ahead and uh, go into node 2 node 1 and node 2 are virtual machines so it takes a little bit time for them to uh, come up so let's go in as I said that I have uh, copied that particular patch in every node so it will be easier and faster to patch I'm gonna go ahead right click on the patch open and installation has started click yes alright installation is completed successfully close this since everything is on node 1 we don't need to really check on availability group once we move everything from node 1 to node 2 to patch node 1 then we need to check our availability group so let's go back to SQL Server 
uh, to failover cluster. So move everything that is on node one to node two. Click OK. I'm going to go ahead and move everything to node two. This would be a great test for SQL Server instances as well if you have installed SQL Server instances in failover cluster. So this is exactly what the steps you take basically to patch your cluster environment when your SQL Server is installed in clustering mode. All right, everything came up online on node 2. Let's go ahead and take a look on our availability groups. Let's refresh our connections. It is taking a little bit of time for me. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this too. One more time, because I know the SQL Server agent is online, but it's showing offline right now. All right, let's refresh this, and by that time, that should pick it up. All right, SQL Server Agent is online. Let's take a look on our availability group, if it's still secondary. As you can see that it's still secondary. Let's take a look on the database. Database is online. Let's take our primary location right now. Primary location is online. Our database is online. So everything looks good when we move to node two. Now node one is available for us to go ahead and patch. So let's go back to our failover cluster and move. We moved everything to node two. Now we need to remote into node one and start our installation. So let me go ahead and uh, remote into node one, TBS node one. All right, let's go in C and start installing our patch. Right here is our patch. Click yes. And patch is installing on TBS node one. Once this uh, installation is completed, we're going to move everything to TBS node 1 and see if everything works. If everything works, that would be it. Uh, and last thing we need to do is make our secondary site, which is primary in New York right now, move back to Charlotte and see if everything works. If that works fine, then our cluster environment availability group patching is completed successfully. Close. All right, let's go back to our um, failover cluster and move everything to node one. You really don't need to move everything to node one, only the replica that is involved in availability group, uh, you need to move everything to check that just for availability group. But since there are other instances in my 
architecture is installed I want to make sure that everything comes online that's why I need to move everything from uh, node 2 to node 1 just to see that uh, my environment is healthy All right, everything is online on node one. Let's go back to our SQL Server Management Studio and refresh our connections. And see if our availab availability group is online. This should still be secondary. This is secondary. Let's expand that. Let's expand the database. Database is online. Let's go ahead and take a look on avail availability group right here on primary. It still works fine. So now our next step is let's go ahead and fail over our availability group and make Charlotte a primary site. So I'm going to fail over. And if, if that goes well, we're good to go. Next, accept the data loss finish <coughs> close this as you can see this has become primary our Charlotte site database is still online let's go ahead and refresh that and make sure everything is online everything is online on primary site let's take a look on the secondary side the database movement should have been suspended as you can see it is suspended I'm going to right click and resume the data movement and see if everything works well and it is online everything is working fine so our patching in cluster mode went successful let's go back to the architecture we have passed all four servers in our clustering environment so right here are the steps that uh, I was talking about these steps will be on our website so you can go ahead and follow these steps if you have the similar architecture uh, this architecture this demo also works for how to update SQL Server um, instances or uh, not SQL Server instances I'm sorry how to uh, uh, patch the nodes that's uh, involved in your cluster so this this works that way too and I hope this video helps